As we inch closer and closer to the midterms, there's a good chance we'll see more attack ads on TV. Political candidates trying to get you angry at their competitor using claims that are maybe, well, embellished a little bit. And that leads us to this week's Queen City question. Do TV stations have to air political ads even if the candidates may be twisting the truth? Well, as it turns out, the decision actually doesn't fall on TV stations. That's because the Federal Communications Commission, also known as the FCC, has a set of regulations when it comes to political Political programming. First and foremost, the FCC ensures each federal candidate has access to equal time on the airwaves. But when it comes to the accuracy of those ads, meaning whether the claims the candidates make in them are true, the FCC governs that as well. The commission explicitly states broadcast stations are prohibited from censoring or rejecting political ads that are paid for and sponsored by legally qualified candidates. Meanwhile, the FCC generally won't ensure the accuracy of statements that are made by candidates. So, what can we do? Well, we can fact check them. And taking a look at North Carolina's biggest race this year, the pursuit of the state's open Senate seat between Republican Congressman Ted Budd and Democratic nominee, former state Supreme Court Justice Sherry Beasley, both of them have attack ads against each other, either from them or committees. And here to explain how they work is Catawba College professor of politics, Dr. Michael Bitzer. This is partisanship writ large in terms of the attacks and the ads. So yes, there may be some kernel of truth to it, but everything else is partisan spin and framing to get you motivated to potentially hate one candidate over the other. Now, we had Dr. Bitzer look at two attack ads, one from each camp. This one from Sherry Beasley talks about how Bud's family's business, Agribiotech, declared bankruptcy and farmers in North Carolina didn't get paid. And it ends with this, Ted Bud's in it for himself, not you. So where's the kernel of truth? Well, it is Bud's family business. The spin, though, that Bud was ever involved in the bankruptcy. As his camp says, he wasn't involved at all. So what's Beasley doing here? It's kind of guilt by association. The Bud family business, Ted Bud was involved with it at some point in time. The attempt to at least link the two and particularly to go after Ted Bud among rural voters. Now, as Dr. Bitzer explains, the tactic makes sense because rural voters have trended Republican. But what about attacks on Beasley? In this ad by the Senate Leadership Fund, a Republican super PAC, they claim Sherry Beasley wants to force you to pay off college loans for the rich. The colonel, yes, Beasley supports federal student loan forgiveness. The spin that paying for the rich part. Under the Federal Student Loan Forgiveness Act, any individual who makes less than $125,000 annually is eligible for federal student loan forgiveness, not just the rich. Something Dr. Bitzer says they conveniently forget to mention. So again, what's the tactic? Here again, the kind of framing of the issue, taking one aspect of it, focusing in on it, making it a detriment to the opposition and to the Beasley campaign is a way to attack and to utilize negative ads in what they believe is a constructive manner. So in the end, when you see attack ads, just do your research because we can't censor them, only fact check them. Of course, if you have a Queen City question that you want answered, you can email us at QCQuestion at QCNews.com.